Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing one of my favorite installs that I have ever done so far. And I will say it's probably one of my best as well. So as you can see, this wig is absolutely gorgeous. And you guys, of course, will see it without the filter, but I just had to show you all this video that I recorded. So this wig is from Chris Beauty Hair, and here is the box it comes in. And these are just some of the goodies that you get in your box. I absolutely love that they give you tools to help you with your install okay and i did end up putting in the elastic band so i wanted to show you guys the lace so basically this is a clear lace wig meaning the lace is bomb okay so if you look to the left that is the clear lace and if you look to the right that is the typical transparent lace as you can clearly see, no pun intended, the clear lace melts way better into my skin. The transparent lace is always way too light for me and I have to end up tinting it or covering it up with some powder or something like that. But this clear lace is the goat. Okay, so definitely try it out. This is what it looks like on my hand. As you can see, the knots are nice and small and the lace looks really, really good. And you guys, it's gonna look even better on my head, okay? I'm so excited to show you guys this lace. So here I'm about to put the wig on my head and show you guys what the lace looks like with absolutely nothing on it straight out of the box. As you can see, I did add the elastic band just for more of a snug fit. So this wig is a 32 inch, 200% density straight, 13 by six, clear lace, clean hairline wig, okay? So when they say clear, clean, okay, they mean that. This lace is probably some of the best lace I have ever, 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 ever seen in my life, it's actually crazy. So this is what it looks like literally straight out of the box. As you can see, it's pre-plucked, it's bleached, like everything looks so good before I even put it all the way down, okay? Like you don't even have to use any sort of glue or adhesive or anything like that with this kind of wig, sis, okay? So basically here, I'm just going over my ears and cutting off the excess lace because I want it to lay as flat as possible. And as you can see, it just curves right over my ear perfectly now and I don't have no problems. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side as well. So my favorite spray is the Hold Me Down spray and this is by Erica J. But you could definitely use the olive oil spray. You could use, um, what's it called, got to be. All of them are a bomb. But this one right here is great, okay? I love it. But it does spray a little weird, which I'm not a huge fan of. I really do not like the way it comes out, but I love the way that my installs turn out when I use this. So, so here I'm just gonna continue to blow dry it and then I'm gonna do the same thing across the front, except at this point I decided that I wasn't gonna sit here and blow dry the entire front because I wanted to move on to straightening the hair and getting the hair ready. So basically what I did now after this is just go across my hairline with the spray and as you can see it's just dripping everywhere okay getting on my nerves but spraying it all across the hairline and then i'm just going to go in like i normally do in my installs and just put the elastic band on blow dry it a little bit and then start to work on the actual hair in the back so here i'm just wiping all this extra drippage because the spray comes out like a crazy person but i'm going to put on the elastic band and like I said, I'm going to go in with the blow dryer for a little bit just to make sure that when I take off the elastic band, it is dry because I have made the mistake of spraying hairspray and then putting on the elastic band and then styling the hair and taking it off and the lace is still not dry or it's lifted. So I'm just gonna blow dry a little bit for a little bit of assurance. And then I'm just gonna go in and pin the hair back I'm going to take off the elastic band because at this point it should be dry. And as you can see, it looks really, really good. Obviously you have to comb out the hairspray because it'd be looking a little crunchy, but it looks really good nonetheless. So here I'm going to go in and cut off the lace and you kind of have to pull the lace back a little bit. If you need to add like some rubbing alcohol to get the excess spray off your forehead or some type of oil or something so it doesn't like rip your edges off, then go ahead and do that. But I am just going to be cutting off this excess lace 
And I'm using these eyebrow scissors because I have cut myself using like regular scissors because they were just too big. So yeah, I recommend you using eyebrow scissors or just some smaller scissors in general. And here you can see me cutting off the rest of the lace. And then after this, we're gonna move on to my favorite part, which is also not my best, but baby hairs. But before I move on to the baby hairs, I wanted to show you what it looks like now that it is adhered to my head and it looks so good. Obviously, I do still have some extra lace, but I like to keep a little bit of extra lace on there. So I will be going in with more hairspray to camouflage that. But at this point, you ain't gotta do nothing else, really. You could just be on your way. But y'all know me, I'm extra. So I'm gonna go in and do a side part. So I've been really, 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 really craving a side part. I don't know why, but I don't know. I just, I typically go for a middle part, but I've really been wanting a side part like really bad. So that's why I'm doing a side part for this install. But as you can see, I have my deep side part and now I'm going to go in with my hot comb, which I got from Amazon. And I'm just going to be flattening out the part so that it lays really nice and flat because I feel like with a side part, just like a middle part, you want it to be really sleek. So I'm just gonna go in and continue to mold it in the direction that I want it to go in. And now we're gonna move on to the part that I could use some work, okay? I could definitely use some work, but I'm getting better, okay? So this lace is definitely making it a lot easier for me with this install and it just looks so good. Like it literally looks like I went in and plucked and did all this stuff, but really I just took it out of the box just like this and put it on my head, like it's crazy. So here I'm just going to put on the elastic band to lay down the baby hairs in the front in the direction I want them to go in and to also lay down the extra lace that I was showing you guys before that I needed to add a little bit more hairspray to. And then I'm just gonna go in while this is marinating and I'm just gonna roughly straighten the hair. The hair is really, really silky, like it's really, Oh my God, it's like silky straight, like it's beautiful. And I'm just gonna go over to kind of get out any of the like dents and wrinkles and all that jazz to straighten out the hair. And like I said, this hair is 32 inches and it's actually, it seems like it's a little longer than 32. It feels like it's about a 34, which I ain't complaining, okay? It's, y'all know I love my inches. So I'll take any extra inches that I get, okay? So this is looking so good. As you can see, it looks like a fresh relaxer. So now that I'm done straightening it, I'm just gonna go in and work on my little baby hairs, okay? Or shall I say my adult hairs? Cause y'all know I always overdo it, but it, it is what it is. So I'm just going to kind of roughly chop them a little bit. And I have been trying to master the right length to cut them at because sometimes I do the most and I cut them way too long. And then sometimes I mess up and I cut them way too short. So I always like to keep a little bit more because you can always take off more. So yeah. So I'm just gonna be curling the baby hairs. You guys know this trick, of course. And I'm just going to be basically molding them the way that I feel looks the best, I guess. So here I'm going in with the mousse from Erica J as well. And I'm going to start to mold those baby hairs in the direction I want them to go in. And as you could see, they just swoop so nicely without even much effort. So yeah, I'm just gonna be kind of trying to do a little swirly thing. I'm trying to try out different styles of baby hairs to see which ones I like the best. And also just seeing what looks the best on my face. I am still working on it, y'all. I'm still trying to get it together. But here I'm still continuing on molding these baby hairs. And honestly, I should have just left this middle one alone and just swept it back because it was giving me a hard time. And I actually didn't really care for the way that that one looked in the end, but nonetheless, the install was still bomb, okay? Still A1 because this clear lace is literally the best. It is the GOAT and I feel like all my wigs now need to have clear lace. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in to perfect the part a little bit. I don't want it to look like Moses split my part. So I'm just gonna go in a little bit and fix it up a little bit to make the front kind of blend in with the back so that it looks real deep side part-ish, if you know what I mean. So I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Concealer that I use for my brows and I'm just gonna go in and kind of fix up the part a little bit. And if you need to go in and 
you know, get rid of the flyaways or whatever. You can do that and then just hot comb everything in place so that it is nice and sleek. And that is it, okay? I feel like this was the easiest and the best, if I may say so myself, install that I've ever done on myself. And the lace looks so good. It looks like I did the ball cap method, but I didn't, okay? Y'all know I don't do all that. And this wig is definitely making my life easier. So, as you can see, beautiful. Gorgeous. The hair is so silky. I literally just went over the hair with one pass real quick. It took me like 10 minutes and this is what she looks like. And I also did go in on the ends of the hair and take off a little teeny bit because you guys know I like my ends to be a little blunt so that it looks nice and healthy. But this is the install. So you guys let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I did okay because y'all know my installs be okay. But I think that this one is probably one of my best ones so far. And I can't wait to try this hair in the middle part because I know it's gonna look even better. So yeah, I just wanted to do a side part and definitely check out Chris Beauty Hair. I will have all the links down below for this wig so you guys can check it out and tell them I sent you, okay? I will see you all in my next video. I love you guys so, so much and get you some clear lace from Chris Beauty Hair.